Electronic voice phenomena, or EVP, is the capturing of voices or sounds within the white noise, of recordings, this is one of the most common forms of evidence gathered by paranormal investigators, and the hardest to debunk. Captured at a private residence, the client's young son is saying hello, and something, much older responds back. No other males were in the room, and cross-contamination was ruled out. Captured at the Bundy house, while Alani is asking questions, this was recorded but not heard in real time. Cross-contamination was ruled out. What's the last thing you remember about this house? Do you mind if I come into your... Captured at the Bundy house, while Anvil is asking questions, the reply was recorded, but not heard in real time. Cross-contamination was ruled out. The spirit seems a little annoyed. Did you work here? Did you work here? Did you work here? Captured at a private residence, the client's son who had passed on can be heard sending his mom a message. The client confirmed that this was in fact a favorite thing of her son. Cross-contamination was ruled out. You play with the lights and try to scare your brother. <laughs> Nettie would like to know if you're here too. Nettie would like to know if you're here too. Nettie would like to know if you're here too. Nettie would like to know if you're here too. Nettie would like to know if you're here too. The M2 program is a smartphone application that was designed for the Apple phone. Like so many things in this field, apps on phones are viewed as questionable tech, and a lot of groups will not use or rely on them. Spirit boxes rely on an entity manipulating either algorithms, or radio frequencies being scanned to generate words. SB7, Olvalus, Geoports and others are standalone devices that investigators use. Smartphone devices do similar actions to accomplish the same results. We have found the M2 app to be useful and relevant during our investigations. Bundy House in Binghamton, New York. As Alani was commenting on the cross contamination from the group on the second floor, the M2 captured the following Even the spirits thought Group 2 was too loud. Definite cross-contamination. Asking team to be quiet. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Bundy House in Binghamton, New York. As the team moved into the dining room on the first floor, the M2 captured the following.
Hungry. Hungry. <laughs> well, we're we're in the dining room. <laughs> That's true. Have some food. Here. Bundy House in Binghamton, New York. As the team was in the reading room, Alorni is talking about what she is seeing. The M2 captured the following. Because when I come in, and I still see, um, there are dead, there are burned people here. Um, and they're telling me they were from a fire, from, from a mill down in Binghamton. And I see the bodies of three women, but there's a fourth woman. And then there's a gentleman that stands off to the side. And these women are young. They're like, Fire. I know. In 2015, Spectres would introduce the use of an intuitive artist during a live investigation. Drawings are done in real time, as the artist is in contact with the entity. The first owner of the property in 1892, Julia commissioned the home to be built for her and her husband along with their children. If you do not recognize the name, Julia's husband, Harlow Bundy, is the founder of IBM. The third owner of the property in 1915, E.F. Hopton was a well-known candy maker in the area. Edwin loved the property, and is still there today, overseeing the comings and goings, of the staff and visitors. The wife of the third owner of the property, Elizabeth Hopton, was the woman of the house and everyone knew it. Elizabeth was very proud of the property at 129 Main Street. She also took great pride in herself and her stature in the community. Mary Shea Lower right, servant slash kitchen help of the Bundy family, Orion French, lower left, driver for Bundy family, Anna Bobble, upper right and left, servant of the Hopton family.
At the beginning of 2019, Elorni and Anvil had a rare opportunity to spend some time the notorious haunted doll, Annabelle. Under the watchful eye and the protection of Tony Sparer, 50 or so paranormal enthusiast, investigators and researchers got to spend time with this iconic haunted item. One of many highlights in the Spectre's foundation history. A bonus that evening, Tony also brought along an object that was referred to as the conjuring mirror. It is said, that if you were to gaze into the mirror long enough, you would lose your mind. Alorni found that this object was generating a greater disturbance in the energy of the room, than the presence of Annabelle. In the summer of 2019, while doing a group investigation, with other patrons of the Hinsdale House, we went up against something, the likes of which we had not faced before. During a spirit communication session, Alorni became aware of participants, that were not human. These two entities, presented themselves to Alorni, and had a focused interest in the owner of the house, Daniel Class. Evil Entity, Lower Right. A being, that has been on the Hinsdale property for centuries. Being of Light, Upper Left. A Guardian, that has been protecting the Hinsdale house owner for a while now. Daniel with a blessed Archangel Michael Medallion, the sudden appearance of a higher vibrational being of light and, Alorni, joining the fight with an improvised bottle of blessed holy water, were able to drive the entity from the room, and back outside. Video of the event can be seen on the hometown haunted YouTube page. The Hinsdale House, is an incredible location for paranormal activity and research. The location however, should not be underestimated, or taken lightly, several spirits and entities are at this location and a great evil resides on the ten acre property, and no one ever knows, where or when it will appear. Captured at the Bundy House in Binghamton, New York, in the dining room on the first floor, an empty water glass has what appears to be, a face in the shadow slash reflection of the cup. The two reflected dots fall on the bridge of her nose. Paridolia is always a possibility, but, it also bears a resemblance to Julia Bundy. No pictures were present in the room that could have caused a reflection. Captured at the Spring Forest Cemetery, Binghamton, New York. In one of the children's sections of the cemetery, a random photo captured this odd image. This face presented itself and appears to be incomplete, but does look like it might be a child. Paridolia is always a possibility, but, the color of the image is unlike any of the surrounding foliage or light in the area. Captured at the 1104 Union Center Main Highway, West Corners, New York, this image was captured while taking random photos of a New Age, metaphysical shop. It does not appear to be human, more of an elemental being that photobombed the picture. Paridolia is always a possibility, but, with only natural light coming in from the window, and there were no items that would cause a reflection or a prism effect. The image is also in the shadow on the carpet. We were unable to debunk this.
Dowsing rods have been used for decades, to find water and other natural resources. They have also been used to find energy fields, specifically electromagnetic, also known as EMF. Much like a K2 meter, investigators will ask that the rods be moved to indicate a yes or no to a question. Erie Mansion in Clyde, New York. The team was attempting to contact Billy Ely, son of Eugenia and Charles Ely. Charles was the owner of the Clyde Glass Works, which was one of the largest glass companies in the world during the Erie Canal era. Billy Ely was rumored had killed several women before his death. Uh, can you show us what yes is, please? Okay, yes is crossed. Can you show us what no is? Beautiful grandfather clock. like hearing that? Do you like the chimes? Can we talk to you about your death, please? We're here, we mean don't, no disrespect. We want to get your truth and your story. Are you okay with that? Is that a yes? Will you say, will you say if it's yes or no? It's a yes. Did you commit your own death? Yes. Did you die from poisoning? No. Did you die from falling down the stairs? Our stomachs are all brown. No. Did you hang yourself? Yes. Did you shoot yourself? Yes. 